Hey guys, um, so I just want to pop on here real quick and um, talk about this whole DJI Mini 5 Pro thing that's going on up here in Canada. Um, I'm sure by now everyone knows that uh, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is not being marketed as a mini drone, uh, but a lot of people are still saying just fly it like a mini drone and uh, there's lots of Facebook groups around. Lots of people are commenting saying they've got uh, official uh, wording from uh, Transport Canada that the, uh, the Mini 5 Pro is approved regardless of the slight weight discrepancy. There's like this manufacturer's plus minus four, uh, four grams for whatever that's worth. But, um, you know, we're seeing lots of stuff online. People are saying, yep, just fly it. It's no problem. Just treat it like a micro drone. And you know, you'll be fine. And then, uh, I, you know, the way I'm looking at it is, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to fly something that isn't designated as a micro drone. So um, I reached out to uh, somebody on Facebook and they've decided that they'll, uh, they'll come on the channel here and uh, tell me what uh, Transport Canada really says. So let's uh, jump over to uh, our guest and we'll, uh, we'll finally get to the bottom of this and know if we should or should not fly the Mini 5 as a micro drone. So anyways, uh, hey, uh, thanks for hey, joining thanks us. For I'm me. glad that uh, you're able to come on the channel and um, you know, hopefully we can just you know, shed light on this situation and just once and for all get it yep. straightened away. Sounds good. So, um, why don't you uh, tell us about yourself and uh, how you uh, represent uh, Transport Canada? Sure. Well, technically, I don't work for Transport Canada. Oh. But my cousins. So you don't work for Transport no, Canada? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, I saw your Facebook yep. post and you said that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, regardless of the plus or minus four grams, just fly it because Transport Canada yeah, doesn't care. That's true, uh, but that's my my cousin's oh. husband's uncle said that. I see. He he works for Transport Canada. Okay, so yeah, your cousin's cousin's husband's, uh, uncle. Your cousin's husband's uncle uncle, uncle. Yeah. works. Yeah works for Trump. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he said that he uh, thought the plus or minus uh, four okay. was fine. But that's not an official statement from Transport Canada well, then. he works for Transport Canada. Sort of, I think, on contract. I, I, I don't really right. know. But he's he knows about this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, that's, you know, I do a lot of research. And mm -hmm. people count on me for this stuff. Okay, but tra yeah, yeah. I, I'm mm -hmm. So it's yeah, right. So like, I just I find stuff out, and then I post it okay. on Facebook, and people like it. And and that uh, okay. Well, thanks for coming on the channel, and um, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for clearing everything okay. up for us. Okay, right. thanks. Thanks. Okay, so that did not go as planned. Uh, it's almost like we shouldn't trust social media to get official statements from government organizations. Hmm, who would have thunk it? So actually just last night, um, Transport Canada released their uh, newsletter and they covered the uh, operating weight for uh, micro drones. And it says right in there again, uh, like it said on their website that uh, in Canada, drones that weigh less than 250 grams are called micro drones. And uh, if the operating weight of the drone is 250 grams or more, it is not a micro drone. And if we wish to operate these types of drones, that we must register them and uh, obtain a pilot certificate. You know, it's not that big of a deal. But what you will find is a big deal is trying to fly it in any municipalities like I'm here in Toronto. And I know if I pop on the uh, uh, Drone Pilots Association of Canada app or Nav Drone, and I try to plan a flight um, in our uh, sub 250 um, designation, we have no problems flying. We can fly basically anywhere as long as we fly responsibly, right? But uh, you tick, you know, you uncheck that box, and you see where you can fly with the Nav with Nav Drone or Drone Pilots Association of Canada, and you'll find pretty quickly that you cannot fly the Mini Five Pro anywhere without the proper 
uh, designation and without the proper authority. So is it worth it? To me, with my Mini 4 Pro, it's not, it's not worth the upgrade, worth the hassles. Yeah, you get a one inch sensor, you get LiDAR, and you get all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, I just want to go and fly. I want to have fun. I want to be responsible. But this just seems like too much. You know, if I'm going to spend money on a small drone, I'm not going to buy the Mini 5. I'm going to go to a Mavic 4 Pro or something like that. So, um, there, you guys, there you have it. Transport Canada has come out and said that any drone, any drone over 250 grams is not a micro drone. That's it. So, you know, take it for what you want. You can buy it, fly it, just do it responsibly and follow the rules. That's what we all do. And that's how we continue to be, you know, responsible drone pilots here in Canada. Anyhow, that's it for this one, guys. It was a short and sweet one. Um, special thanks to my guest for coming on and clearing the air. Don't trust social media when it comes to, you know, official policy, guys. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, fly safe.